Hey, this is Donnie Rocket. I've got a video from the Chicago Race Factory in Bedford Park, Illinois. A few weeks ago, I was in Chicago on a business trip. I hit a K1 speed while I was there, and then I also hit this facility. Main difference between the two, K1 uses the electric go-karts, and this facility uses the, obviously you can hear it, the gasoline-powered go-karts. I'm probably about on my 6th, 7th lap maybe of my very first race. Starting to catch up with a little bit of lap traffic. But all the carts are pretty competitive, pretty even with each other. Like I said, this is my first race right here. Didn't do too bad, went back, talked to the guys running the place. They gave me a couple of pointers on how to hit this, you know, how to hit the laps to shave off a little bit of time, and they did seem to help. I think I knocked a second off. But my first race, my second and third races, both were both were good enough to get me third fastest for the month. They were actually within one hundredths of each other. I got a twenty three point eight seven four on my second race as the fast as my fast lap time. Actually, that was the third race. My second race, I got a 23.843. Third race, I got the 23.874. Two different carts, so not bad. Like I said, it got me the third on the third on the month, so I guess my line is halfway decent. So if you kind of follow my path around here, you should do fairly well yourself. not a super complicated track fairly wide open I used the brake in one or two places I believe and I'll go through the lap right now now that there's no traffic okay that little flag back there start finish line that section right there that was a place that definitely you were down at the slowest you were going to get so stay as tight to that corner as you can. This is you know, go-karting 101 here, you know, going around these corners. Nothing spectacular. I used some brake right here to try to stay tight. And that way I could set up good for that corner there. Again, that corner is where you slow down the most in the, in the whole entire lap. Otherwise, you keep the speed up pretty well. Carts look like they've been around a little while, but they still ran pretty well. They were a little dirty. There was a little room for improvement there, but I will not hold that against them. I still had a good time, even though it kind of screwed up my clothes a little bit. I was able to, you know, it all washed out. It's no big deal. One of these labs, it might have been the one we just saw right there, is my 23.843 lab. So it's in here somewhere. It was an eight minute race, I believe. It wasn't too expensive. It was in the $20 range. I did have to get a membership, and my birthday is in July, so they give you a free race during your birthday month. So I got the membership, which had some little special bundle. You get the membership, you get two races that night. It cost you cheaper than getting two races or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But with it being my birthday, they still threw in that extra race, so I got three races. All in all, so fun was had by me. So we're winding down. You know, I'm just busting out some laps, obviously. If you do get in the area, I would recommend this place. I know some people like electric go-karts, but they just they crap out halfway through. Stick with the gas. Have a good one. I'm out.